Lesson four, topic converting between forms, learning target, I can convert a linear equation in point slope form to slope intercept form. So a reminder of our two forms, we have point slope form. So we're gonna take an equation that looks like this and we're gonna make it look like slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So let's just jump right into our practice, convert the equation from point slope to slope intercept. The first thing we wanna do, so we wanna label what our m is. So if you see m, it's right here. So our m is negative four. And that is the thing that uh, point slope and slope intercept form, they share. So they're gonna have that same piece. So when we have our final answer, this m right here should be negative four. So we're gonna write that down just as a check-in piece at the end of our problem solving. So to make this equation in point slope form look like slope intercept form, step one is to distribute. So distribute, remember, just means get rid of those parentheses by multiplying. So we're gonna take our slope that negative four, and we are going to multiply it by the two numbers inside the parentheses. We have negative four times x, which is negative four x, and then we have negative four times positive five. Remember, we take that sign with the number. Negative times a positive is a negative, and four times five is 20. And then this y minus six piece just stays because we haven't done anything with it just yet. So that is step one. Step two is to make our equation y equals. Slope intercept form starts with y equals. So we want to make that y all by itself by getting rid of this minus six. So to get rid of the minus six, we have to undo. So we're gonna undo this minus six with a plus six, we do it to one side, we have to do that to the other side. Negative six plus six is zero, so we're left with y equals, this negative four x just comes down to the bottom, and then we have negative 20 plus six. Please, please, please take the sign with the number that is a negative 20. So we are going to do negative 20 plus six, and we get negative 14. Y equals negative four X minus 14. So we're in that Y equals MX plus B form. Double check, is our M the correct number? Yes, it is. All right, we'll do another equation like that. Again, we have point slope form and we want to convert to slope intercept. So again, first step is to distribute. So we're gonna make a mental note of that slope, which is negative one half. So that we can make sure those will match at the end. And then we'll distribute that slope to the numbers in the parentheses by multiplication. So we have negative one half times x, it's just negative one half x. And then we have negative one half times, remember this is a negative six, so a negative times a negative is a positive. One half times six, which really is just saying, hey, what's half of six? Half of six is three. It's also really multiplying by the decimal 0.5. You could do 0.5 times 6. You could do 1 half times 6. You can use your calculators, your tools, um, whatever you need in order to make that work. And then we have the y plus 8 still over here on the left of the equal sign. So we did step 1, and now... Step two, we have make the equation y equals. So we have that y plus eight, so we're gonna undo that plus eight with a minus eight. 
We do it on the left hand side, we have to do it on the right hand side. 8 minus 8 is 0, so we're left with y equals, which again is that goal. Bring down the negative 1 half x. And then complete the operation. 3 is positive, so just 3 minus 8. If you need, you can always check with a calculator. 3 minus 8 gives us that negative 5. So now just that last piece is check in. Did our slope end up being the correct number? M equals negative one half. Yes, it did. So we are good to go. All right, one last piece here, and this is gonna be helpful in the um, challenge assignment that you guys have in this lesson. Um, so this is putting together what we worked on in lesson three. So step one and step two, we did in lesson three. And then we're adding in this last little piece, which is the lesson four piece. So it's putting it all together. So we're gonna write an equation for the line in slope intercept form, but in order to make it in slope intercept form, we have to first start by writing the equation in point slope form. So we have our two coordinate points, negative one, negative five. So that's our x1 and our y1. And then we have the negative two, negative three. So that's our x2 and our y2. So now we can plug that into our slope formula to calculate our slope. And we get y2 is negative three minus y1 is negative five. Over on the bottom, we do x2, which is negative 2, minus x1, which is negative 1. Perform those operations. Negative 3 minus negative 5, or plus 5, is 2. Negative 2 minus negative 1, or negative 2 plus 1, is negative 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. Two, so our m equals negative 2. Yeah. So that should be the number that is right here in our point slope form and right here in our slope intercept form. So the next piece is writing the equation in point slope form, which again we worked on in lesson 3. y minus y1 goes in that first blank, so that's going to be negative 5 equals m negative 2 times the quantity x minus x1. Well, x1 is negative one. Now, before I start the process of converting to slope intercept form, I'm gonna simplify this equation first and get rid of those double negatives. So this is really y plus five equals negative two times x plus one. Now that I have that simplified, I can start that converting process by one distributing. So let's distribute that negative two to the x and the plus one. Negative two times x is negative two x. Negative two times one is negative two. Y plus five stays. And then that last piece, step two, is making it y equals. So we want to get rid of that plus five with a minus five on both sides. Five minus five is zero, so we get y equals negative two x just comes down. And then negative two minus five is negative seven. So our slope intercept form is y equals negative 2x minus 7. Double check that m. Is it the right number? Yes, it is. That's all the notes I have for you. Thank you for sticking it out through this extra long video. I do apologize for the length, but I hope it was informative. And now you can go ahead and get started on your practice.